All right, how you doing guys? It's morning with Steve here, and today I'm in a abandoned theme park. As you can see, it has a lot of Christian theme to it. That's because this place is called the Holy Land. located in Connecticut. Now it was inspired by passages from the Bible. But yeah, let's check this place around. It looks pretty cool. Bethlehem Village. As you can see right now, some of the monuments have been destroyed already. Rhodes Palace. So this whole area is all uphill. It took us a while to get up. It's been an extremely hot day. I'm sweating like crazy right now. I'm getting a nice tan. Next stop, next spot. Alright, so that was pretty interesting. I want to check out this area. There's not really a path leading up here. Uh, maybe over here? Woo! I made it up. That was just, but this is pretty cool. They're just all replicas of the Israeli villages, you know, but they're all vandalized now. So a little bit of history about this place. The park closed down to the public in 1984. But in 2014, uh, I believe in, this, uh, in September, it reopened to the public for the first time in 30 years. A pretty interesting place so far. Um, stuff that I know, this place was conceived by the Baptist John Greco and he was a Waterbury based attorney. The purpose for creating this was to replicate Jerusalem and Bethlehem and he wanted a place where people can just sit down and relax and be peaceful. You know, it's speaking of which, you know, now that I'm here, it's really nice and quiet. There's a lot of birds chirping. It's just on top of a hill in the middle of the city. It's kind of a shame that they would be closed down. But I heard that they're trying to reconstruct the place. So during its peak years, maybe around the 1960s and the 1970s, this whole place actually attracted 40,000 people. Yeah guys, it's just absolutely incredible where I'm at right now. Check this out. This is where I'm at right now, on top of a huge hill that overlooks the whole city. This is probably the tallest hill in Waterbury.
check it out a huge craw now the original back then in uh, 1970 was actually destroyed by vandalizers and they re just recreated this new one You enjoyed this video thanks for watching thanks to all of my subscribers for continue to watch my videos i love you guys so much thank you i'm always motivated to make these videos just for you guys and entertain you guys so i hope that you guys enjoy these videos um check out the links below if you want to see some good quality pictures of the places that i explore check out my instagram link all right that's a wrap folks i hope you guys enjoy this video of the holy lands a pretty incredible place, remarkable place. I can't wait till they revitalize the whole area. The Holy Lands is under development. I really see and support Greco's vision. If you enjoyed watching this video, please support us in revival at www.holylandwaterbase.com. Thank you, and thanks for watching.